uh, regarding uh, steps which have been taken uh, to bring results to the crisis. You know, at uh, the uh, meetings of the United Nations Security Council and uh, the General Assembly, the situation in uh, Ukraine and uh, numerous violations of international law and uh, human rights issues related to the uh, uncontrolled uh, arms uh, supplies were discussed uh, severally, uh, which of the humanitarian uh, consequences of the conflict and uh, the, uh, the action of uh, the uh, government in Ukraine, do you consider the most uh, destructive and uh, what was uh, the position uh, of the uh, Western countries in uh, relations to facts presented at uh, the uh, United Nations? Well, the Western countries have a very short memory when it comes to, to their own uh, crimes and actions. So they uh, started to behave and they try to continue the same line even today. They started to behave as if history, there was absolutely no history before the 20, 24th February 2022. They were claiming that Russian aggression, as they put it, was absolutely unprovoked. It had no reason. Uh, it was absolutely a territorial war, though it's absolutely absurd. It's not about territory, of course. Uh, it's, it's, it's about the rights of the population of the east and uh, south of Ukraine. So they tried to bring this narrative uh, into action in the United Nations. And initially, I know that a lot of countries uh, from the global south, they were overwhelmed by these events. And uh, they absolutely had no time to analyze it uh, thoroughly and uh, the, the western countries um, succeeded in uh, mobilizing uh, some support for for their moves against russia for the formula and the one-sided picture that they wanted to promote at the international arena but very soon uh, a lot of our sisters and brothers from from african countries from other developing countries started to see the real picture of what's the role of Western countries in this situation. And this role is not very much difficult from that of, uh, of uh, colonialist powers uh, uh, several decades ago when they were trying to divide and rule. They, were, they are absolutely trying to introduce discord among, uh, among brotherly people uh, in, in Russia and Ukraine. They're absolutely not interested in any kind of cooperation between uh, Ukraine and Russia. Uh, this scenario is a, a bad scenario for them. They don't need peace between Russia and Ukraine. Uh, they want to weaken uh, Russia as much as possible. Uh, so these countries started to uh, to flood Ukraine with weapons, uh, with uh, other military support like uh, military data and uh, the uh, satellite data they are they were absolutely complicit in a lot of strikes that uh, ukrainian military uh, did against uh, civilian objects uh, with the use of this uh, satellite and intelligence data provided uh, by the west so very soon our colleagues from these countries of the global south understood that the west is a part of these conflicts it's not a direct part but nato uh, us and its allies are uh, actually uh, masterminding and uh, implementing their their agenda in Ukraine and that the Zelensky regime is not um, the one that reflects the uh, desires and the priorities of its own people. So we uh, indeed uh, repeatedly uh, draw attention, draw attention of our colleagues in Security Council and in General Assembly to the factor of Western arms deliveries to Ukraine uh, these arm deliveries are very significant, uh, even at this date. And it's not only a question of arming Ukraine uh, to make it more capable to fight, but it's also a question of um, making profits uh, from the Ukrainian war. It's the same way as capitalists uh, and uh, colonialists behaved uh, elsewhere in, in Africa, in Asia, in Latin America. They're making profits. For them, it's a business. Uh, President Biden uh, openly said recently that it's a good investment uh, that uh, Ukrainians are dying for for American money and uh, American lives are spared. Uh, and also the military industrial co uh, companies are gaining enormous profits from Ukrainian war. 
the West is testing its uh, arms in Ukraine, uh, and uh, the West is also uh, uh, making a swamp, swamp of equipment swamp, military equipment swamp out of out of uh, Ukraine because it's uh, it provides it mostly with quite an obsolete uh, equipment from uh, Eastern Europe, and then these countries are being uh, rearmed and receiving uh, newer uh, equipment, newer uh, military appliances. So this process is beneficial for the West and they don't want to, to put it uh, to an end. And uh, now uh, a lot of our partners in the UN are uh, looking at this situation through the optics that I described and it's becoming harder and harder for uh, Western countries to mobilize any support for Kiev regime uh, because of what is what is happening and because of uh, all the facts that have uh, come to the ground uh, about the real int intentions of uh, Kiev regime and its Western backers. Uh, and we see more and more support uh, from the developing countries in the UN and in the world uh, in general.